This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, brought to you by, yes, the Crazy Four Calamari Card, which is available right now. You guys can scoop it up. We have Chef Nate Perrant from Casarino's joining us right here. Good morning. Good morning. Great, Great to be back. Great to have you here. And this fine gentleman is making pork asso buco for us, correct? Yes, that is correct. Can I sample now? I gotta you can wait. sample now. But no, <laughs> I have to wait a little bit. It'll take a couple hours, but I got a, I got a version for you that's ready to go. Outstanding. In 45 minutes or so. so yeah, well, take we'll us through some of the ingredients uh, that you'll be working with right here right. today so those at home can find Follow right along, sir. Absolutely. So obviously the main star of the show is the pork itself, uh, pork shank. See that beautiful uh, fat in there, a little caramelization of it. Um, that will cook for about two hours, so we'll show that later on. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our seasoning, salt and pepper, of course, some chopped garlic. Always need that in an Italian dish. A little Italian seasonings, some great fresh herbs, rosemary, parsley, and some thyme. Uh, we have some crushed tomatoes, a veal demi-glaze, a little beef stock. Mirepoix, very important to any distance. Look at all these vibrant colors yeah, on a beautiful... That. Exactly. Great for this time of year. Obviously, summer's over, unfortunately, but we have uh, a nice fall dish for you. Some port wine to deglaze the pan, and uh, that's about it. Man, so this is going to we'll be great. To now, you uh, referenced, of course, great dish for fall. Do you change the menu up at all, or is this something that's always on there? What this is we... actually always in the menu. It's been on the menu about, uh, about a year and a half now so far, and we didn't think we were going to actually keep it on the menu all the time, but... It's really had a great response. An so instant we just classic. Kept it on. Yeah, exactly. yeah and yeah, I remind everyone, I mean, we all know and love Casarinos, but location yep. for us? Location, 177 Atwells Avenue, um, right in the middle of Atwells, uh, right on Federal Hill, um, just off Dean Street. So, great location, easy to get to, uh, close to downtown. So, cool. Absolutely worth checking out. Save me a seat at the bar. All I right. Will. This I is will. the man right here, Chef absolutely. Nate from Casarinos. He's going to prepare the pork asso buco all morning long, and then I'm going to sample. Can't wait. <laughs> for now, back to you. And Will has made his way into the kitchen. Let me tell you, another perk of this job is, is being able to hang out with some, uh, some incredible chefs and try some, uh, some great food. Casarinos is here. Chef Nate is here, and he's cooking up a storm. Uh, pork asabuco is yep. what we're making. My God, does it smell good. It does. It, it does, really, really does. It's, huh? at the, it's at the right stage right now. So we have put a nice, uh, you know, nice crust on the pork. Right. Dredge it in some flour. Seasoned flour, very important, obviously. Season everything um, as you go. Salt and pepper, very simple. Um, right now, I, I have added the celery, carrots, and onions, mm -hmm. and a little bit of garlic. So we got that nice aroma going. Um, put a nice sweat on the vegetables, really yep. release those flavors. Um, what we can do now is deglaze the pan and put some port wine in. That and really release all that flavor. That's, that's what I was going to say. This pan. is where all the, all the a lot of the flavor comes in as well. Yep, absolutely. We yep. use port wine. Um, it's something that adds a little sweetness to it. A lot of recipes would call for a white wine, but this is something that we do a little differently at the restaurant. So um, you want to add our other other wet ingredients after we get a little a little more cook on that. Cook off that wine just a bit. And Nate, how long does something like this have to go? I, they're b two large pieces of, yep. of meat that, that's in there. This will this will take two and a half three hours cook time. Mm -hmm. um, so it's something you want to start. You know, if you want to start in the morning, have it ready for about lunchtime. Do it on a Sunday afternoon. Really would be great. Have friends and family over. And, you know, the house will smell amazing, especially when you add these fresh herbs in there. And is this something that you can put on and it's a low and slow yeah, it's heat exactly as well? Yeah, right? it's a low and slow process. What we'll do is we'll bring it to a simmer and turn to a very low heat. Um, you can do this in the oven as well. You can mm -hmm. do it at about 300 in the oven. But um, I'm going to do it today just on the stove top. And you want a nice thick pan that can really hold up to being uh, heated for that, that amount of time. Right, right so as well. I'm going to add in the rosemary and add in some of the fresh thyme. Really a nice wow. smell will start to come out of there. Yeah, that looks good. Yep. And then at this point, we can add our beef stock. Add our crushed tomatoes. Okay. That looks so good. Yep. And then finally, the demi glaze. The old demi glaze that we make. You know, at the I, can, restaurant. I can get this out of the yep. way for okay. you. I'll take awesome. this. I'll get Thank this you. out of the way for you while you're doing that. Yep. So we're gonna let this simmer away, not for two and a half hours, but we'll be back in just a little bit. We'll yep. uh, talk about what's going on at the restaurant. We'll give this a try and add a few more things to it as well. Back to you. Yep. We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, brought to you by Crazy Four Calamari. If you have not got your Crazy Four Calamari card, what are you waiting for? You've got to get on it. You get a $25 card valued at $200, good at 20 restaurants across the ocean state. So make sure you go to roadydeals.com and pick one of those up. Casarino's is a restaurant today in the Roadshow Kitchen. Pork asabuco is what we're making, and I, it smells so great in here. Perfect for a fall day like no, this it is. today. Absolutely perfect for a fall day. Uh, cold weather is coming up. It's the dish that will really fill you up, 
stick to your bones, one of those kind of dishes that's right. comfort food, um, perfect for fall and winter season. Now, you were so. saying that this actually, after it's after it's in the pan, and, and yep. you, you'll let it simmer for how, for how long yeah. in the pan? Yeah, so this, this is what I made earlier. will simmer about two and a half hours. Um, yeah, this is Power TV. This is the finished product that we've right. had here. It's literally about to fall off the bone. That's kind of like right with the stage you want to make this right here. So, so many great right fall on. flavors yep. in this, and mm -hmm. at the restaurant itself, this will be what everybody's ordering. Yeah, this will be what everybody's ordering um, this, this time of year for sure and it's something that we don't make a lot of every night we might make four to six of them on a given night a lot. so you know it's something that if you see this and you really want one call ahead absolutely call ahead make a make a special note on your reservation that you want one we can reserve it for you absolutely. okay all right so. what else do you have here because this looks so, yep. uh, delicious so we as have, well. at the restaurant we pair this with a spinach risotto mm -hmm. um so that's what i'm going to be doing today just to show you the presentation of it but this dish really does pair with anything you can do it with mashed potatoes you can do it with a pasta um, polenta is kind of a classic uh, presentation for it as well. Um, even though sweet potato mash would be great this time of year, have some nice colors and the flavors really go well. The sweetness of the of the asabuco and the demi glaze mm -hmm. would really go well with you know anything, honestly. So. And, and Nate, can you just remind everybody what some of the spices are that you put in? Because that's part of the that's part yeah. of why it tastes so good is the spices and the smell that's filled this this yeah. kitchen this oh, morning. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Rosemary and thyme, for sure, the aromatics that, you know, absolutely bring out those smells that you're smelling right now are, are delicious. You know, the celery, carrots, and onions um, add some flavor and depth to the sauce. Um, salt, pepper, garlic, um, obviously those are the key. And the parsley, a little bit of parsley, brings some freshness to it at the end. I just threw some in. Um, those crushed tomatoes also add a lot of depth to the sauce. Right. So you can see that kind of red, rich color. So, and you know the port wine, port wine, which, which is also and use that to deglaze yep. the pan after you yep. after you kind of put a, uh, a coating on this. Mm -hmm. All right, so Absolutely. let's uh, let's Absolutely. let's plate this up. Okay. You know, and I cool. actually I'll switch switch yeah. places with you to make it yeah, easier. Please. And while you're doing that, tell us about tell us about what's going on at the restaurant because Casarino's is is a is a restaurant here uh, that everyone knows. Yep. Um, but I know you're always changing things up as well. Yeah, everyone knows Casarino's. It's been around <laughs> since 1988, actually. So actually it's our 30th year um, in business um, it's a really exciting time of year it's kind of getting into our really busy season for sure um, we've done a lot of changes to the restaurant changes to the menu so if you haven't been in a while come on in um, the exterior and interior really looks great we did a, a full remodel over the summer so okay. closed for a week and you know it really looks awesome so i'd say come on in check it out for sure whether you're coming into providence there's so much to do in the city of there Virginia. is so yeah. if you want to pee pack you're going to a fryer game or something what a fire or something like that Water just make fire, sure you absolutely. make your reservations yep. stop right on in yeah make a reservation and uh you know you can valet our valet parking is great people think it's tough to park on federal hill it's really not pull right up to the front they'll take care of you right in and out you know in a heartbeat so it really um, is uh now, when you, when you go to the restaurant, this is how it's going to be served. You're going to get one of these, not the... Yeah, you're going to get one. I just played and a it's show, plenty. too, just for the example. Yeah, absolutely, it's plenty. You know, that's why I really do prefer uh, the pork asabuco, really. Mm -hmm. Of all the asabucos, you, you can do veal or lamb, but pork, you get so much meat, and there's so much flavor in it, so I think it really is uh, an excellent dish. So oh, man, look at you that. You want to throw that sauce on. You know, I, I glaze this for the past 15 minutes. So, I mean, it's coated with the sauce. That you looks really get so that there, good. You know, that's, that looks delicious. Yeah, that's gonna be. It's a lot of people. A, a lot dish. of people hovering around, waiting to waiting yeah. to dig into this, and then, including uh, me. We'll season up a little bit of parsley just for some uh, garnish. Okay. A little fresh rosemary. And, uh, and there you yeah, go. That's about it. That's Nate, the finished product. That looks great. We're going to give that a try as well in just a little bit. Nate, thanks for coming yep. in. Thanks for making Thank a great you. dish for everybody. For um, if you would like this recipe, or if you're going to Casarino's, make sure when you make that reservation, you uh, you put in a requ request for one of these as well. Yep. We're going to post a link on our website along with the recipe at roadshow.com.